to my most favorite thing actually I've seen this week, um, a leaks Air Force One. So as you as you I'm sure guys are aware, Alix is founded by Matthew Williams, one of the co-founders of Ben Chill from back in the day, also a former Lady Gaga, creative director, and just an all-round bad man when it comes to everything involved in streetwear in the scene. He eventually launched his own brand, Alix, which is essentially like, you know, a modern day a modern day helmet lang, right? A contemporary helmet lang, I don't know. So maybe sacrilege to some fashion heads, but my platform can say what I want. So he's um, you know, the first, I think the Nike collaboration we've got out now at the moment, the sort of running one with the jackets and trainers has gone down pretty well. I think a lot of the stuff has sold out. The shoes I really like. I really like the fact that he took that weird moon runner, I forgot what it's, moon rider, whatever that model is, and put his touch on it again, not taking the easy route out and just uh, uh, adopting a kind of uh, popular model, introducing something else to the kind of forefront. And also the idea that he's pushing physical exercise to kids who who are probably spending more time sitting in front of computers with bots trying to buy hype releases and sell them on rest- uh, sort of resell them on StockX. So the fact that he's built, he's kind of going to Nike instead of just making a, you know, silly color. No, he's got two. That's a good thing. He's got this stuff and the other stuff. So the other stuff is more athletic, CrossFit, cross-training kind of way and running, whatever it may be called. And this stuff is a bit more, you know, fashion-y right so it's a bit more lifestyle pieces and um I, this is one of my favorite collaborations i think he's put out so far um again it's a it's a it's classic model nike air force one high if you know anything about me you know i love air force ones i think air force ones were in my top three nikes of all time which will be a jordan 4 air max 19 air force one i think if i had to wear any model for the rest of my life it'll be those three models air force one um uh nike air max 90 and jordan 4 i think i could find a way to wear those most outfits and uh, matthew m williams has decided to preview four new colorways for his collaboration with 1017 elix 9sm which is the main um kind of ready to wear side of elix not that I, I think he's co i'm pretty sure the stuff that's running and the other stuff is mainly his name, MMW, right? I think so. That's with Nike. And then this stuff is more in line with his runway stuff. So we'll probably see these shoes debuted on the Paris runway. I think he's he's the last to show on Paris, I think, in Paris menswear. I think he's last to show. I think it might be Sunday or something. So check those out. But yeah, um, so far we've got a sneak peek um, with, uh, I think, his dog and a lot of Okoba, who's now um, styling, I think, for Leaks. The former stylist and the former kind of one of the creative leads or one of the people that are involved with the kind of success of Vetemar and then she went to help out Demna at Balenciaga. But I think now I don't think she's styling for Balenciaga anymore. So I think she's kind of moved over to Elite, which is great to see. And she obviously done some other stuff, loads of editorial stuff and loads of runway stuff for Mark Jacobs and a few other people. So she's getting about and doing her bit as pieces as well. So a cute picture here with her and a dog in the background. But the most important thing um here to see in the whole entire picture is these air force ones right get them up here on the screen so i think it's four colorways and i'm a big fan of each i I was mucking around with certain colorways myself of this sort of model um on nike id so i'm i'm very i'm sensitive to the fact that you know sometimes again the opportunity to collaborate on a sneaker if you're a brand or you're creative it can be a bit nauseating you can get a bit, a bit overwhelmed um but i also appreciate the creatives are able to go into a brand like nike and just deliver on something they've always wanted themselves so imagine if you're a sneakerhead or if you're a guy that's into fashion or likes clothes or likes trainers there might be a time where you're like man i wish nike would just make classic air force one in highs luxury leather without the nylon strap in a variation of black and white because that's essentially what you always like to wear day in day out you can't find them on the on the on the shelves the closest place you're going to get a colorway like this might be jd sports because they have you know really basic models but again the levers are going to be good the shape's going to you know fall apart after a few wears so if you're able to kind of get the keys to the factory and just lux up all the materials um you know get some nice you know some nice finishing touches on the top of it to make it really stand out for everyone else why not take that opportunity and i love it i love it so you got here four colors i think variations of black and white basically um on the left here you've got like an all an all black upper an all black um air force one with a white swoosh and then you've got the gold sort of emboss um accents on the back of the hill that's similar to like what um um what they called i was they called achilles what those shoes achilles called I forgot anyway. You know what I'm talking about that shoe. So I like the kind of logo 
that they do on the back of the hill with a sort of script stamped on it. I think it's embossed or maybe a screen printer. I'm not too sure. So sort of like a tumbled leather upper. I don't sure if the if the seams have been kind of sealed or they got that kind of rounded. I think they do. They're not raw seam, which again improves the quality. And then you have got these wax lace wax laces at the top. So you got an all black pair with a white swoosh, and you got a completely all black pair, triple black, which I'm a big fan of. And then if we continue on here. We've got a pair that probably my favorite of the bunch, which has got the Alix uh, belt buckle strap at the top of the shoe, nylon strap, which kind of is a cool look because that colorway is very reminiscent of some old school uh, shoes that I might have seen in a sneaker magazine or stuff that I might have come out specifically in a Japanese market. It's an all white upper with a black swoosh and a solid black midsole. Again, classic, no fucking around. There's no extra nonsense, no source added onto it. The only source added onto it, the only bit of individuality he's put onto it is his actual addition of his own kind of you know signature um elix uh seat what do you call what do you call it airplane seat buckle i forgot what they, that thing is called but oh it's on leather as well the strap is a nylon it's leather Oof, that's such a good touch um so yeah beautiful 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 model beautiful collaboration and then we've got an all white pair and pure money pair so for those of you guys who want to be trap fantastic there's another pair too with the leather up with a leather strap and the buckle on the top so again um brilliant colorways overall i think probably one of my favorite collaborations i've seen to date very simply done very well done uh great execution and look like i'd be up for wearing every single one of these pairs like that will go all in my collection and i'd wear them all instantly straight away um great shoes great everything like i'd wear those essentially straight away at the bergheim those black air force with the white swoosh that would be my Bergheim shoe. Because I think I've always said that, actually. As much as I'm a big fan of Rick's and Rick Owens and what he does, I'm not really the biggest Geo Basket fan. I don't think they work too well on my feet. The sole's a bit too thin. I've always had the kind of dream that if I did have another pair of Geo Baskets, I'd maybe do a bit of a sole swap and put a, maybe a chunkier sole at the bottom or maybe take the sole off and get them redone by a cobbler and have like a really thick wedge sole on the bottom. I don't think they look a bit better, but... And again, I'm pretty sure if Rick did a collaboration with Nike, they'd look similar like this, right? It'd be like a kind of idea of like, let me just wear my standard shoe, my everyday beater, and then kind of change my apparel on top. Um, but obviously now Rick's in a completely different lane. He's doing the, the whole high heel boots and stuff. But um, again, for an everyday wear, for something I could wear with most of my outfits, very versatile trainers. I'd wear every single one of these pairs. Honestly, so good. I'm hoping when they come out, they're easily to, easy to get hold of. Probably won't be, but one can only hope. Oh, look at the white pair. They've got a silver buckle on a white pair. Oh, I wonder what pair is going to be the most popular. Um, again, they'll probably won't resell that great. What should I say that? No, I should say that because they're black, isn't it? Black, all black shoes don't really... What's the last all black shoe that did really well on resell? It's not really a thing, in it? They usually have to be a bit loud and a bit crazy um again they've got the buckle on them they've got the little embossed logo and so i think if you're a kid and you want to resell you might or you want to floss you might just wear these and tuck your trainers inside your socks right so people can see that they're not just some standard air force ones but someone could tell from afar because that that's some good leather man look at that that's some fucking good leather seams are sealed as well tumbled leather like just great details i'm not sure if it is the white pair do you think the white pair has white whack laces or just regular nylon laces? i don't really sure but i love it man i love them especially that that pair here with the white with the black swoosh and the black sole that's really good that's really going to stand out on the shelves yeah so i can't wait to see these i'm sure they're going to come out very soon hence why he's probably leaking them and showing them now here's some great line sheets that we're seeing here too oh, it's oh they're going to do a pop-up okay let me read it let me read them then let me read this article um crafted from premium tumbled leather alex's um air force ones are presented in all white uh, we saw that this uh, this ascended feature further by the gold and silver foil stamps on lateral hill counter williams first debuted his first technical year at practical design 2018 uh the get into a look of each colorway right here and expect a limited release at alex's prayers pop-up shop wow located on 12 14 rue Le Fond, whatever that word is, from 12 p.m. to 7 at 16. So, yeah, to, to today. They're actually available to buy today in the store in Paris. So, yeah, definitely check those out um, if you're available, if you're around. But, yeah, great, man. I, I actually like seeing these line sheets. It's pretty cool, isn't it? See these sort of um, tech packs for these trainers. <sighs> that looks so fucking beautiful. Like, all of it. Such a, again, so classy done. No crazy stuff on the insole or on the tongue. 
just nice little um, touches, 10-17 and 9SM on the on the lace jewels, which I, I all automatically get, get rid of all the time when I first have them. But yeah, check that out, man. Leaks for um, Nike. Maybe one of my favorite Air Force One collaborations I've seen today. And again, if you know anything about me, you know how much I love Air Force One highs. I probably prefer an Air Force One high over a mid or a low. I think they're a lot more versatile and probably I like the shape more on my foot. Um, again, for somebody that's got a wide foot and a clumpy foot like myself, an Air Force One is probably the perfect shoe to wear. So definitely check those out, man. One of my favorite shoes so far that's been leaked during the whole Paris runway stuff. Yeah, uh, Matthew always does some really good.